Hey, YouTube family. So let's cut the last two watermelon of the season. They're a little small in my opinion, but the tendril had dried up, so they sound kind of ready. All right, let's try the first one. I scrubbed them already pretty good, so they're nice and clean. Let's see what we're working with. It's very juicy. Hmm. The juice is pink. Let's see if the watermelon is going to be. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> it smells so good, y'all. It's juicy. It's actually ready. I'm surprised because it was so much smaller than my other ones. But I guess that's because the end of the season, you know, it was starting to get cool. I'm so excited. Let's let's cut the other one and see what it looks like. Now, as y'all can see, this one is even smaller. I don't know. The tendril was dry on this one too. And it sounds right. So let's see what we do. Ooh, it's juice coming all out of this one too. Mmm. It's looking good. Let's taste it. All right, me and one of my babies are gonna taste test this watermelon. You ready? On the count of three. Oh, you did it already. Is it good? Mm. It's good. <laughs> it's good. Y'all see that juice in there? Yeah. The last watermelons of the season did not disappoint. juice is supposed to be really good for hydration so let's see if we can collect this watermelon juice I got a little strainer in here to catch the seeds and then I'm gonna take these rinds out to the pond for the geese the whole cup of juice y'all let's see how this is hmm. pretty refreshing <laughs> 